connections, I got a real classic lesson for, for us this week. We're going to use the lamp behind me and this glove. What do you think these things have in common? Well, both give, uh, can give warmth if the lamp is on or you're wearing the glove. But these two are going to illustrate something very important for us in our lives. When they're not in use for their intended purpose, they're basically just objects with no real value. But when the light is turned on, or when the glove is being used, now each are, they're offering to us a purpose. This is giving light to the world. This is giving warmth to my hand or protection. But it is only when they're being used by something going inside of them. When the glove has the hand inside of it, when the power is rolling through the wires going up into the ball, that's when they're being used. It's the same in our lives. We're just running around without purpose until we accept Jesus Christ. But it's more than that. When we accept Christ, Christ gives us power. It's the Holy Spirit. In Acts chapter 1-8, as Jesus is just about ready to leave the earth and being transported to heaven, Jesus tells the disciples, I'm going to leave you the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Spirit will be my representation in this world. It will move into you. It will give you purpose. It will give you the power to do that which I've asked you to do. And that is to go into the world. Go into those areas where you can be my light to the world. So here's what it is. You need the power of the Holy Spirit to complete that which you've been called to do. Let me pray with you. Lord, right now, give my friends that encouragement that they too can be used in a mighty way when they allow the power of the Spirit to roll through them, to give them the power that they need to do that which you've asked them to do. Hey friends, I'll see you next week.